Today, we're going to be solving word problems using joining or separating. What do you think joining means? Is that going to be um, subtracting or adding? Joining. Would that, do you think joining would be minusing? What does join mean? Would that be join or take away? When you join oh, yes. something, you're adding, right? And then if you're separating something, you would be minus, minus take away, right? So those are just bigger words for adding or subtracting or uh, adding or take away. So what do you think a detective does? Um, solve case. He solves cases. How do you think he solves cases? What does he use? Um, he has to find... Clues. Clues to solve the problem, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing some word problems, and we got to know what kind of clues are we looking for, and then how do we use the clues to solve the problem, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so have you ever seen um, the cubes? Do y'all do this at, at school? What? The cube strategy? Uh-uh. Where first, we're going to read the problem, and we're going to circle the numbers in the word problem. So any numbers that we come to when we're reading our, our, our uh, word problems, we're going to circle. And then it says to underline the question. And a question starts with what, how, when, who, where, those kind of words. Like how much is it or, or um, what, what are you looking for. So then we're going to box the keywords. Do you know some keywords for math? No? You haven't learned keywords? So I kind of recognize it. You like, kind of recognize it? Mm -hmm. Like what? Like, um, it's a key. I don't know. A keyword would be like a clue word. So it would tell you what to do. So like, um, we, we have some words like, if you, if it says, how many, uh, pigs were all together? So all together would be keyword to say, ooh, we need to add how many were all together. Or if it said um, she had five dollars less than the other boy, then we would do less than would be what? It would be probably taking away, subtracting, right? So those are some clue words we have, you know, in all or plus or sum. The sum is the answer to an addition problem, right? So those are some keywords. So we'll, we'll go through it and we'll, we'll work out some keywords. And then we're going to evaluate and draw. So we'll draw to help us solve the problem. And then we'll solve and then we'll check our, our answer, okay? So that's going to help us. So first, what do we do? We're going to... Circle the numbers, and then we'll underline the question. So let's just start, and I got a paper for both of us. So we, do you have your pencil? Okay. We're going to do this first one together. It says, Billy has nine cookies. Oh, wait. I want to start. No, that is number one. Okay. Billy has nine cookies. He gave some of his cookies to his friends. Now he has four cookies left. How many cookies did he give away to his friends? So let's go back through, and you're going to circle. I want you to circle the numbers. Okay. So Billy has nine cookies. He gave some to, of his cookies to his friends. Now he has four cookies left. How many cookies does, did, did he give away to his friends? So where's the question? It's asking us, Let's start with the word how. How, just underline that. Oh. How many, the whole thing, cookies did he give away to his friends? So those are purely in the questions. That's yeah. the next, yeah, the next one. Remember we got a question mark here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, we need to find some clue words too. Now we need to box the keywords. So he gave, would that be a clue word? 
Um, what do you think Gabe means? Give. So he gives it away. So is that going to be an addition or a subtraction problem? Uh, a minus. A minus. So we have we have nine cookies. Let's start with let's use our counters to help us. Can you let's count out nine One, cookies? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Nine. I knew three plus three plus three equals. Good. Nine. Because one day I count by threes and one day I did it. Good. Okay. So we have nine cookies. So I'm going to also write the word number nine. And he gave some away, so we're going to put a minus. Do we know how many he gave away? Mm -hmm. How many? No. Look, he gave some away to his friends. We don't know how many friends he has left. So that's going to be our question mark. Well, that's going to be the, the answer we're looking for. So he has nine, but he gave some away, so we're going to leave that blank. And then it equaled, how many did he have left? Can I use these? Hold on. Yeah, you're going to use those. He has how many left? Four. So four. Four right there. Right. So, and we have to, we have to and so. that's right, we have to figure that one out. So, we have nine. How do you think we should figure this out? There's a couple different ways, different strategies. What do you think? Um, he had four, he had nine. Mm -hmm. Do you think he gave? We don't know how many he gave away, but he had four left. So, what do you think we should look for? Should we? So yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So does that seem right? Mm -hmm. Let's check it. How can we check it? Do you know how? Um. You think, um. What if we went back this way and did four oh, plus five is how much? Nine. So is that the right answer? Good. So when we don't have counters, we can also use on our paper to draw. So we could have draw, drawn draw nine dots or for um, nine cookies. You could do like any little thing or you can. any shape. That's right. So can you do, can, let's do cookies. Just do circles for cookies. And I want you to do it just like you did. So nine... Um, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, good. Now you could like mark off four, like you did, or do you circle them in a group? You you mark them off like that? Yeah, like that. Okay, so mark off four, and then we can see how we got our answer. So then we you counted five. One, two. Three, four, five. Great job. And I like how this, we can illustrate what we're doing. Illustrate means draw a picture and um, show what we're doing. So, um, let's see if we can do this next one. Um, can you read it to me? This says Sally. Her name. Sally had seven pretzels. No, pieces. Pieces of and uh huh. Candy. Susie. Susie gave Sally all of her candy. Now Sally has this fifteen um, pieces of candy. All together. Together. How many put? Um, pieces of candy did Susie, Susie gave to Sally. Alright, so circle the numbers. And underline our question. Our question. Our question was the last one. It's usually the last sentence. But it started with the word how. 
and see it had a question mark. How many pieces of candy did Susie give to Sally? It's so let's see. Sally had seven pieces of candy. So let's do seven. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. So nine minus two equals seven. Okay, is this going to be an addition problem or a subtraction problem? Because she had seven pieces. Now addition. she has addition. addition. Very so good. Plus. plus. And do we know what the next number is? Mm -hmm. So that's our mystery number. A equals 15. So we need to figure out what plus 7 equals 15. Now you could just count out what? What could we do? Um. You could count out the 15. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Very good. You did that really well. Well, we're going to continue to do a few more, but um, we're actually going to we're going to use um, abchead.com to try to, uh, and it'll give us some more questions to do together. Okay. So we will continue that. Thank you.